Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scarborough Country, the virus edition, aka the Panty Pods. AKA low angle, lots of star spangled fun. Okay, aka whether it be bed bugs that bite, noses peeking out because the mask's too tight, or people jump in lines at the vaccine site. Two dudes see it. Thanks to the God light. There you go. Hey, all right. Uh, that was Jane Scragman. Thank you, Jane Scragman. Scragman. We love you, buddy. And to Keep all the coming. people who AKA us, we love you. Uh, and we're really enjoying doing this show. So uh, I, we got a story. Let's jump into it right away. Let's do Shall it. we, Jay? Yes, yes. I feel like this past year, we have all gotten closer to the people in our lives. Yes. If, you've, if you've been spending the time that you're spending with them in your house. You got clo- closer doesn't always have to mean... Life is smooth, and closer doesn't always have to mean life is easy, but we are definitely getting closer just by being around everyone. My wife and kids, I spend time a lot together. We haven't been away from each other in over a year, and I have to say that's been really cool and very enjoyable. You start to, in that moment, you understand like the surface rhythms of your family, okay? Yeah, the things, those things can bring you closer. I I feel like they bring you closer because. You you start to be able to anticipate how people are going to feel and behave in certain moments. You start to like read their. You can read people's feelings earlier on, I which feel is like. both a good thing and a bad thing because yeah. now it feels like I'm married to both of my daughters as well. Oh, yeah. If I just say to my daughter, uh, any of my, either of my daughters, "Honey, could you just?" That's literally the worst. That's thing literally you the say. worst. That's like thing. an insult to them. That is like a slap in their face. That it's is a loaded phrase because you're about to have them do something that they don't want to do. They take it to mean that they're that they haven't done the thing that I've asked them to do. So the honey, could you just is me being like you're not doing what you're supposed to so do. So the shorthand of what you just said, you're into a new shorthand. Is right. What you're saying. The other day, I called my wife by her name. I said Amy, and the whole family looked at me like, "Who the f is Amy? Who is this Amy you mm-hmm. speak of?" Mm-hmm. We are so close that like we don't use our names when we talk to each other. So if yeah. anyone does use the name, it feels like it's so ridiculous. formal. It's like, wait, what? Like, are we? Is I'm that, not wearing jeans right now. Is that the Queen's we? Who are we talking about here? Who are we talking about? We, the royal we. That's ridiculous. It's not that we don't know each other's names. It's just that. I mean, that would be ridiculous if you wouldn't know each other's names, or would it? Check out this next story. Let's here we it. go. A woman avoided calling her husband's name for three years because she couldn't get the pronunciation right. She So she knew his name. But didn't know how to pronounce it. This is like when our Aunt Rita. Our Aunt Rita said, you know who I don't like? That Jay Leno. We're like. You mean Jay Leno? Leno? Like who, how, who? Who has only read Jay Leno's name and not heard it? I, if you're. Maybe it, she saw Janet Reno and she knew that. And she was like, oh, it's, Le- it's Jay, Jay Leno. Leno. And we were like, come on. Aunt Rita, you have to have heard Jay You don't have Leno's to like name. Jay Leno to know that his last name is Leno. But also, this feels like something you get out of the way on your first or second date. Not a difficult question to ask at the very beginning. Well, maybe they met at an orgy. I don't know. I don't know. And she she thought, thought he was, was someone else, and now she's married to him. She's stuck. That's a weird position to be in. Three years later, they have the type of relationship where they can, I mean, I don't think they can ask each other basic questions. Like, how do you pronounce your name? I mean, I get that that would be embarrassing. She should ask him, and I don't want to give away the apple card here, but she should say, "How? let me ask you something. Because you I've do never have a tricky you name, yeah. You have a tricky name. How do people mispronounce your name? You must hate that. What are the ways that people have screwed up your name so badly that it would make you live it? TikToker May Bebrea confessed that she still hasn't figured out the way to say her Swedish husband's name after years of marriage. I mean, just, I would say, start calling him Ikea bookshelves titles. The Tijena, the Kugis. Are those titles? Oxberg. Hey, Urschult, get over See here. if he answers to any of them. If those. he answers to any of them. Lingenberry. Call, call him Lingenberry. Lingenberry. Just start naming. Now we're just naming items at the Ikea cafeteria. Instead... She avoids any awkwardness by calling her baby. Is she calling just him baby. Doing this for TikTok, or is this really happening? By the way, this is actually not a bad plan. And pet names show love, so that is not a bad thing. Maybe ask what their friend, what, what his friends, friends call, call him. him. What do your friends call you? Be like, hey, we've been married for three years. I want to give each other nicknames. So, right. you, but I want us to give ourselves nicknames. So 
You tell me what the nickname is that you want for no, your name. No, that's not going to do it. I don't know. Or you have his friends make a video for his birthday and roast him. Yes. You got to say, hi, his name. Say, yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. And then roast him. That's I guarantee it. you'll find out how to finally pronounce your husband's Look, name. In 30 years. seconds, we just came up with multiple solutions for you. So, And we're not the smartest people in the world. In the clip she posted on her account, which has amassed more than 13 million views, which, yeah, Jay, this now starts to feel more like this like, is a TikTok right, this is thing. why we're doing She it. tries to say his name correctly. She not only- so she doesn't know how to pronounce not it. she not know how to pronounce her but husband's like, name. But like if he follows her on TikTok, then he's going to know she doesn't He know. obviously doesn't follow her on TikTok. What does that tell you about their marriage? What kind of marriage is this? I mean, there are open marriages. How's where- your marriage going? Well, he's not following me on TikTok. It's like, oh my God. He's not following me. to get into How's counseling. your marriage going? He's not following me on TikTok, and I can't pronounce his name after three years. You guys got to get into counseling. You got to get into something. Like now. There are open marriages where people feel more aligned than what's going more on right now. More attuned to what's happening. Clearly, she felt safe enough that he wasn't going to see this, even though 13 million was- other people have viewed it, to post her trying, and I'm assuming to fail to pronounce his name correctly. The woman says, okay, so I've been calling my husband baby for the last few years because I don't know how to pronounce his Swedish name. Why can't you tell him to mispronounce your name? Yeah, that could be your guy's thing. He mispronounces your name. You mispronounce his name. That's why you love each other. Right? Boom. You screw up each other's names. It's not that's hard. That's a cute thing. It's how funny hard. would that be? Just screw it up. It's not like you don't know how to spell it. She tries with different accent and intonations, adding Ragnar, Ragna, Ragnar. I don't know. It's not hard. Just Ragn- call him Thor Ragnarok, Ragnarok for right? fun. And tell I called him Ragnarok. Tell even him it's you want to pick up his hammer and there you throw go. it around or something. I don't and know. he won't care that you screw up the pronunciation of his name. Because you're going to screw it up. You already seem like someone who screws a lot of things up. The video has attracted hundreds of comments from viewers giving her suggestions to help her out. And if there's one thing you want is help from people on TikTok on how to live your life. Exactly. Get that advice from those people because it's they it's one minute of life that they're seeing and they've got all the they're answers. They're super not invested. So you know they're going to give you a good meme. All right, before we get, we're going to take a break before we get to some of the suggestions that people gave him on how to, gave her on how to pronounce pronounce her husband's name. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. We announced it. It is up. The ticket link is live. You go to nowherecomedyclub.com. Nowherecomedy.com. Is that what it is? Nowherecomedy.com, I believe. Or maybe nowherecomedyclub.com. Or you go to eventbrite.com. I don't think it's going to be on Eventbrite. It's going to be on a different thing. So it's nowherecomedyclub.com and uh, you can find, or danielvankirk.com. You can find tickets for the next Live Don't People Town, which is May 22nd. Chris Thiele from Nickel Creek. Mm -hmm. And the Doughboys. It's going to be a fantastic, I don't know if you know the Doughboys podcast, but it's amazing. They're get brilliant. Your, get your tickets now. All right. So when we left, a woman did could basically could not pronounce her husband's name. Didn't know her husband's marriage, name. And there, that's how close they are. She put it on TikTok, tried to pronounce it right, and then she took advice from the TikTok users. One said, "Call his mom and ask him a, uh, about a birthday present. She will say it. Not, not necessarily. necessarily. Mom will call him, hear him. Okay, the whole time. His mom is going to assume that you, his wife of three years, knows his name." She's not going to say, well, I got Ragnar this. Well, I think you should get Ragnar that. Second commented, Ragnar from the Vikings? Girl, just watch the series. Again, totally works if that's the pronunciation of her husband's name. If it's not... It's a gamble. That's a risk. That is some, a risk. Now, some shared... This, I think, is good. Some shared similar experiences where they said they couldn't pronounce their partner's name right with the correct accent. Yet, yeah, when in doubt... Blame the accent. Blame say, the I want to do... So... Why can't she blame it on other people? Other people have been saying your name with a crazy accent. I want to be able to tell people the way that makes you feel comfortable. Go all nationalist on your partner. My husband's name is Vayuaitas, a woman wrote. I also can't pronounce it correctly, so I call him Vita. So okay. again, there you go. Okay. He's not going to get mad at that. Truthfully, when have you had to pronounce his full name? You just don't. At, at like when you're introduce him at the palace at a dinner party maybe you, you can just introduce him as the name this is Vita the version of his actual name that you use that's right you could do that for the rest of your life and no one will ever know yeah and then let him say his rags I'd call him rags rags bro, bro. This Dude, is my husband, Rags. Rags. We have a fun name, Rags. And again, let him say his full name when the person you introduce him to looks uncomfortable that you want them to call him your pet name. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Another said, here I am struggling to pronounce Jeremy, right? He gets annoyed when I say Jeremy. Ooh. Yeah. 
Yeah. That, see, now you're getting some shade. Yeah. To quote Pearl Jam, Jeremy's spoken in class today. Yeah. In a second video, she asked her husband to pronounce, and he explained how his name could sound differently if in a different region. Okay, so now he's on it. Yeah, he knows. He's into it. Yeah, he knows. I want to see them start putting their counseling sessions on TikTok one minute at a time, right? Mm-hmm. Here, what do you say? Here in Scandinavia, we call it Ragnar, or depending on where you uh, are in Sweden, it could be Ragnar. If you're in Finland, it would be something like Ragnar. And these explanations are great. If this was their first date, right? You just, that's what you ask in that situation. What is she doing? What in the name of Jens Lekman was she calling him to her friends and family when she said, I'm dating this guy? Rags. You should call him Rags. Viewers, it's so easy. Viewers think the man was confused by the pronunciation himself and agreed that the woman should keep calling her husband baby. I guess. How You're great sh- How great would it be if she pronounced baby wrong? Or he corrected her on that. That would have made this marriage, this thing, like a marriage TikTok for the ages. Mm-hmm. I just call him Babi. I call him. I, I call, call him Babby. Babby. <laughs> I call him Bye Bye Bye. Bibby. Bibby. Bye Bye Bye. He's my little boo boo. He's my Bye Bye. She's my Bye 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 Bebo. What if that's the thing that ultimately breaks up the marriage? Like he's the way okay. she can't pronounce the baby. word baby. Like he was okay that he couldn't. She couldn't pronounce his Ragnarok. name. Ragnarok. But now that would be a non-starter for me. If my partner could not pronounce baby, baby, I would be like, you got to go. I you- love everything about her. She's incredible. She's smart, loving, beautiful, talented. I just can't ba- get past the fact that... Ba- I can't, fact- you, you're so upset that you literally can't speak right that now. she mispronounces simple words. I mean, he can't he even talk. Randy's having so much trouble Ultimate talking. Ultimate irony. And in the divorce medi- uh, mediation, she actually pronounces his real name right. This For movie, the first time. Like, this that's movie the moment writes she gets itself, it right? right? Three Ragnars and a Bobby. Bobby. Bybee Bybee Ragnarok. Yeah. There you go. And that is the show, guys. That is how we do it. Back in the saddle. Hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoy this. Love giving you the content. Stay connected. Stay protected. Don't get infected. This is not a hoax. But we got the jokes. Wear a mask. Get vaccinated. Do all of it and love each other. We'll see you guys on Monday. La-dee-da. la dee da la dee da la dee da